welcome to another Take 5. I think one of the wonderful messages of Christmas is how God uses the ordinary to bring out the extraordinary. Even the location of Jesus' birth, Bethlehem, it wasn't Jerusalem, it wasn't in a palace, it wasn't with parades, it was in a manger in a small obscure town. And then Jesus, even as he grew up, lived in yet another small, obscure town where he was just a carpenter until he was 30 years old. And then as he began his ministry, we realized this, he never wrote a book. He never held an office, never went to college, never went into a big city. He didn't do many of the things that are considered to be done by those who are great. He was 33 years old. All of his disciples ran away. One of them even denied him. He was handed over to his enemies and then he went through a mock trial. He was buried in a borrowed grave after going through the suffering and torture of crucifixion. But Jesus' life was anything but ordinary. It was extraordinary as he loved others, as he performed miracles, making the lame to walk, the blind to see, curing diseases, raising the dead, and he himself walking out of that tomb. So many centuries have come and gone, and today Jesus is still the central figure of the human race. He is the one who has changed life for all mankind for all time. Of all the armies that have ever marched, of all the navies that have ever set sea, of all of the parliaments that have ever set, of all of the kings that have ever reigned, and all of the leaders ever put together, none have ever had the effect on mankind that Jesus has had. The message of Christmas Jesus brings the extraordinary out of the ordinary. Jesus being born in Bethlehem. Jesus being born to Mary. The angels appearing to shepherds. And you and I have the joy to celebrate. To celebrate the birth of Jesus to celebrate God becoming flesh, anything but ordinary. And how Jesus changes our life is anything but ordinary. And the message that we have to share with the world during this Christmas time is anything but ordinary because God takes the ordinary and brings out the extraordinary. My prayer is that this is not an ordinary Christmas for you. My prayer is that for you, you catch a glimpse of how wonderful, how precious Jesus Christ is. The difference that his birth has made in this world and can make in your life. The difference that it has made in your life. And I pray that this Christmas you will celebrate in an extraordinary way, that you will give to others in an extraordinary way, and that you will share an extraordinary message of the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ.